Hey guys, thank you so much for taking the time to tune into this video and if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. So I apologize for the weird setup. We are just sitting at my kitchen table today and it is really late in the evening. It's actually a little bit past midnight. So if my voice sounds a little bit raspy, tired, so on the softer side, it's because, you know, people are sleeping and then yes, I am tired. <laughs> but I wanted to go ahead and get this video up for you guys, at least have it filmed tonight, uh, just because I have to put stuff away into my stash and it's because I'm in the midst of reorganizing a bunch of stuff. So I just need to add this in, you know. So so basically, this video specifically is going to be a what's in my mailbox video and I figured that's going to be like the title of a new series moving forward and essentially all of the videos in this particular series are just going to be friend mail, random acts of kindness, and moving forward what I'm going to be receiving in my P.O. box once I open that up. I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to open up my P.O. box but I did do a poll on my community tab a little bit ago and majority of you guys voted yes for me to open one up so I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to do that but hopefully within this year I have plans to do that even if I just do the minimum rental I think it's like six months is the minimal or minimum rental just to see even like you know how many letters packages that I'll be receiving you know so Anyways, I'm rambling. It's like I said, I'm tired. I tend to talk a lot and just ramble about nothing when I'm tired. But basically, I'm very excited because as my first What's in My Mailbox video, this is a mystery wax de-stash from Kim, from Kim Hearts Organizing. I will, of course, leave her channel link for you guys down below in the description box as well as her Instagram. So I highly recommend you guys to go check out her channel and give her a follow on Instagram. If you guys are not new to the vendor wax world, then you're familiar with her channel. <laughs> she is an OG wax YouTuber. I have been watching her for a very, very long time. And so the fact that now we're actually talking to each other, I feel like I'm talking to a celebrity. <laughs> Just because, like I said, it's I've been watching her videos for so, so long. And I just, I love watching her videos. So I was so excited because on her Instagram stories, so she's been trying to do some mystery de-stashes just to, you know, de-stash from her collection. And I was super excited because this particular de-stash, while it was a mystery, it was basically like a fall bakery sampler. And I was all about that because you guys know I love fall. Fall is my favorite season and I love bakery. I'm a bakery gourmand type of person when it comes to home fragrance. Uh, obviously, I do like other scent categories, but bakery is basically like my comfort zone. So I was very, very excited, and she is super, super sweet. We were talking via Instagram DM, and she was asking me what are some of the vendors that I've never tried before because, like I said, she's been in the wax vendor world for many years, and I, started buying wax initially back in like I want to say 2013 something like that 2014 15 16 <laughs> like many years ago and then I stopped and then it's only like within this year that I recently started to get back into it so there are some vendors some oldie but goodie vendors who I've just never tried before and so she said that she would throw in some extras for me from the vendors that I haven't tried yet so I just thought that was incredibly sweet so thank you so much Kim for everything that you sent me seriously thank you so much thank you thank you thank you I cannot say that enough so let's go ahead and dive right in I'm not really going to be delving into each of the scents individually just because there are a few here to get through so I'm kind of just going to give them a quick sniff and just show you guys what she so kindly included for me so this first one here is a sample from Empire Alchemy. This is in Honeydew Strawberry Guava. And I actually received my pre-order that I made. When did I make it? Did I make it in like sometime in July? I don't remember, but I did receive like a pre-order from her 
So I have tried her wax and I absolutely love it. Her wax is very strong. And the scent is really, really nice. I get the honeydew up front and then just a little bit of the strawberry. But this is a very nice fruity scent. Um, I am a seasonal melter, so for me personally, this is just off season, but I am going to keep it in my stash to melt when spring comes around or just warmer weather in general. Although honestly, I shouldn't even say warmer weather because today's the first day of fall and it was like 91 degrees today in New Jersey. So I was like, what the heck? <laughs> also, please excuse my nails. I know they're a hot mess. Um, if you guys follow me on my Instagram, I always like post my nails when I get them done. So I took a break from having acrylics and I did my natural nails. I just did a gel. And these three right here, as well as my pinky, these are my natural nails. I tend to have strong nails. Like I just naturally have strong and fast growing nails but after having my nails underneath acrylic for several months you know they're just naturally weak so they all broke and so yeah and I just started picking at the polish because I have a bad habit of picking at my nail polish but I am getting my nails done this Wednesday so yeah just please excuse that <laughs> okay so moving along to what's important <laughs> i was super excited to receive this i had told her that one of the vendors who i haven't tried yet is destination wax destination wax is a very popular vendor but i just haven't had the chance to try out this company before and i don't know i don't know why i follow them on facebook but it's just like whenever they have restocks i don't know it just doesn't like fit into the timing of when i purchase i guess I don't know but this one is in cafe brulee which is buttery caramel brulee with hints of coffee hazelnut and marshmallow and then the pour date is within this year so march of this year mm, yes this is very good it's very strong on the coffee obviously but it's a rich buttery smooth creamy type of coffee scent i really love this i love coffee blends i'm very excited to try that out as being my first destination wax scent so this next thing that she included for me is this little sample from rose girls and this is in raspberry carbs and i do have a rose girls haul video on my channel and i will admit though for some reason i'm not sure if i just had to let whatever I received in that order cure more, but I did try melting some of the stuff that I got in that order, and I literally cannot get a throw for the life of me. I, I don't know what it is, so I don't know. Um, I was talking to, I think her Instagram name is Candle Crazed Girly. I think that's her Instagram. I was DMing her and she actually also told me that she could not get a throw from Rose Girls Wax either, which I was glad to hear because I was like, okay, good, at least I'm not the only one. But I'm really trying so hard to just do different things so that I can get something from her wax because obviously Rose Girls is very, very popular and everyone loves her wax. So I'm just wondering why I personally can't get a throw. I don't know if it's my warmer, I have no idea. Um, but I just use my Ashland in the kitchen and then the old Glade warmer. The old Glade one, was that like a 13 watt warmer? I'm not sure, it's the hot plate one, the one from like years ago, the OG Glade one. That's the one that I use in my bedroom and I don't know, I just haven't really been able to get a throw. But this on cold sniff, it's very heavy on the raspberry, obviously. I'm not exactly sure what carbs is. Like I said, I'm not really familiar with Rose Girl's wax. Um, but I will give this a try. Like I said, I am really genuinely trying to just work with her wax. So moving along, I did receive a full clamshell. This is from Southbound Candle Co. This is in Pumpkin Cookies and Milk. The scent description reads, fresh from the oven, pumpkin spice cookies with warm sweetened milk. So I actually did place an order with Southbound. Again, it was a pre-order. I did receive some bakery bags and then I also received a loaf. It was just during the time when I was in my burnout stage so I didn't haul it for you guys. But I have tried this vendor before and I love their wax. It definitely throws and it's very strong. 
So I'm really, really, really excited to try this one out. And look how cute her clamshell is. There's a little pumpkin there. It smells a little bit plasticky, but clamshells have the tendency to have that effect on wax. But at least from my experience with the vendors that I've tried who do clamshells like Super Tarts, um, that plasticky smell, it doesn't adhere to the, to the wax while it's melting. It's just on cold sniff because it's just sitting in this plastic container. Um, but it doesn't, like I said, it, go, it does go away when you melt it. So I'm not worried about it. But I cannot wait to go ahead and try that out. Speaking of clamshells, I do have one more clamshell that she so kindly included for me. And I'm very excited, like literally so ecstatic that she included this for me. This is from The Bathing Garden, and this is in Blue Wonderland. So I apologize that it's not focusing. There you go. Um, so I wasn't sure what the scent notes were on this, but then I saw that she had actually written the scent notes down, and I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. <laughs> So the notes are rich milky cheesecake with sweet blueberry jam. So this is my very first item from the bathing garden. I'm so excited. I have been hearing so many great amazing things about the bathing garden. She's just such a popular vendor that I will admit at least for me it's hard to order from her. I know she does pre-order styles, which I am liking because, you know, while you do have to wait for the wax to get to you, because obviously it's a pre-order, you're guaranteed to get something. Mm, this smells so good. I cannot wait to get this on a warmer. I'm so excited. Like, so, so, so excited. So thank you so much, Kim, for including that for me. But yeah, okay, so... Let's go ahead. I think I have one more item here that's a vendor that's not like the majority vendor, if you will. You'll see what I'm talking about. So one other vendor that I told her that I haven't tried from yet is Teddy Bees. And she's been doing a bunch of Teddy Bees hauls uh, within the past few months. And I was like, I really need to try out this vendor. Um, but I just, like I said, I just haven't had the chance to. So I was so happy that she included this little sample for me. It's a scent shot. This is in Blackberry Butter Pecan Cookies. And, oh, this smells so good. So, 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 so good. I know I always tell you guys that typically I'm not a berry person, like I'm not a blueberry person or a blackberry person, but I am telling you guys right now Lately, I've been really getting into that blackberry scent, like blueberries and that blackberry. Like, if, whether it's like a blackberry jam butter cookies type of blend, or just like, if there's something blackberry in it, I don't know, I've just like been really liking it lately. I guess because it fits into like the whole fall thing. But yeah, this smells amazing. I definitely get the pecan scent in here. It's very nutty, it's very creamy. This is, this is good. I cannot wait to go ahead and melt that. Uh, how am I going to stack this? All right, I'll just stack it on top of here. Okay, so the last vendor that she included the majority of the uh, wax from is from Vintage Chic Scents. I just say VCS because for some reason I just can't say Vintage Chic Scents quickly. <laughs> um, but basically, I am so excited because... I've never actually tried VCS wax before. Again, it's just one of those vendors where she's so popular, she's been around forever, I just haven't gotten the chance to. I did place an order. I did place an order a few weeks ago and I received an order a few weeks ago. My very first order. But I've been hearing that her stuff is better after you let it cure for a while. And by a while, I mean like a year. So... I don't know because I really don't want to wait a whole year to melt stuff that I got in that order because I had ordered a bunch of fall scents to melt obviously for this fall season so I really really don't want to have to wait until next fall to melt them so I'll see uh, the pour dates were from early August and late July so I'm hoping that you know letting it cure for a little bit over a month is good enough I'll try it out. I'll definitely try it out and see for myself. But all of these next scents are from Vintage Chic. 
why do I keep trying to say it? VCS. <laughs> so, and these are like, the pour dates on these are older than the ones obviously that I just recently got. So these are ready to go. So I'm very excited about that. These I can just pop in my warmer and I can see VCS wax for myself. I can smell it for myself and I'm so excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. This first one here, I guess she sells these. She doesn't sell these individually. I think these are her samples. So this first one here is in Autumn is Coming. I don't know why it's not focusing. There you go, Autumn is Coming. Sorry guys, I'm still trying to fidget around with this new camera here. Um, I looked on her website and unfortunately I was not able to find a scent description for this scent, but it's an apple scent. It's an apple based scent. I'm sure there's other stuff in here, but the primary note that I'm getting is apple. And it's a very sweet apple, but I can get some spice in there. So it's probably like an apple cinnamon type of fragrance. Apple cinnamon, not clove, not nutmeg. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just cinnamon. But like I said, I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I'm getting on cold sniff. This next sample here is called The Munsters. So as you can see, this one has a pour date of 2017. So this one's definitely ready to go. And this one is Pumpkin Caramel Eggnog. So this one is actually a really sweet scent. The caramel is very heavy in this one. I get like the teensiest bit of a pumpkin scent, like a pumpkin spice, but it's very heavy on caramel. So this one's very sweet. Um, I'm probably gonna try to mix this and tone it down with something else just to see what I can do with it, but it's it's very sweet. And then the last sample is in the Warrens. And this one is Gooey Marshmallow Glazed Cinnamon Donuts and Cider Lane. From what I was understanding, just reading her scent descriptions, they're very complex. Like, there's a lot going on in each scent, so... Mm, this one's so good. I immediately get Cider Lane. That's like the most prominent note, but I also do get a cinnamon spice in there. This one's really good. I am very excited to go ahead and warm this one. All right, I have a feeling this stuff's gonna fall. All right, there you go. There you go, okay. <laughs> so this next one, I'm not exactly sure what shape this is. I'm sure you seasoned VCS people will know, but she also included this shape for me and this is in the Spindle Curse. And again, it has a pour date of two years ago, so I'm excited because this is ready to go. And I looked on the website, the notes are cinnamon glazed snickerdoodle donut, marshmallow, birthday cake, vanilla bean, Noel. So again, there's just a bunch of stuff, there's a bunch of notes going on in these scents, but they smell incredible. They smell really, 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 really nice. So again, I cannot wait to go ahead and melt that one. And then on a similar note, she also included this one for me. This one's in the shape of a snowflake. As you can see, this is in Heat Miser Man. Again, pour date of two years ago, about two years ago. And she actually wrote the scent description down for this one. So thank you in advance. Um, it has marshmallow and cinnamon buttercream frosting Noel. So this is a scent that I'm actually going to be saving for the month of December. Yeah, this one I'm gonna be saving for December. It smells really nice though. It's a really nice cinnamon bakery vanilla scent. So those are all of the two single shapes. And then the remaining melts that she included from VCS, I believe these are called medallions if I'm not mistaken. Again, don't, <laughs> I'm really not an expert when it comes to VCS. Um, so I really am not sure, but I think these are the medallions, if I'm not mistaken. But basically, this first one here is in Sugar Cookie Dough Great Pumpkin. So this has a pour date of last year. And there's two of each, so there's four in total. So Sugar Cookie Dough Great Pumpkin. I wasn't sure what Great Pumpkin was, so I just wrote the scent description of Great Pumpkin on the back. 
It's pumpkin layer cake cream cheese frosting mixed in with sugar cookie dough. So I'm very excited to go ahead and try this out. Again, I'm just excited because I can just go ahead and melt all of these. I don't have to wait. This next one is in Haunted Latte. Again, this was poured a year ago. And she wrote the scent description for this one. This is Pumpkin Latte. I'm not sure what the S is. I tried going on the website to see a scent description for this, but I couldn't find one. Maybe that's Pumpkin Sugar Latte? Or Pumpkin Spice? I'm thinking that's Pumpkin Spice Latte now that I... Now that I uh, sit here and think about it. <laughs> but basically it's a pumpkin latte scent with whipped cream and caramel. So it's another coffee blend. Yeah, yep, that's definitely a coffee blend. Um, obviously, because it's called latte, duh. I'm very excited to try that one out. I'm actually probably gonna melt that one tomorrow morning. This next one is in Madame Tussauds. Tussauds. <laughs> Mad oh my gosh. Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. I'm probably like butchering that. I feel like I know how to pronounce that. Madame Tussauds. Tussauds. Madame Tussauds. Whatever. <laughs> so as you can see, it has a pour date of two years ago. So this one I'm definitely going to go ahead and melt. And I got the scent notes from the website. The notes are sweet potato pumpkin bars toasted coconut. So this one... Mm, yes you know what it's actually really funny because i don't like sweet potato like i don't like sweet potato fries i don't like sweet potato like mashed i don't like sweet potato my family does but i don't but i like it in home fragrance like i've tried sweet potato from it was a sweet potato scent from k's and I melted it the other day and I, I loved it. So I don't like it to eat it, but I like the smell of it in home fragrance, which is really funny. And then the last pack of medallions that she so kindly included for me is this one. And it's called Autumn in Salem. Again, pour date of two years ago. And the notes for this one are pumpkin cinnamon sugar donut. Mm, yes, 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 yes. This one smells so good. So good. I really, I will admit though, just smelling all of these off of cold sniff, I really like how VCS does cinnamon mixed with other bakery gourmand scents. It's really, really nice. It's not like a red hot cinnamon. It's a sweet cinnamon sugar type of scent and I'm loving it. So that is everything from my mystery D stash from Miss Kim over at Kim Hearts Organizing. Thank you so, so much. A million and a thousand and ten thank yous for this incredible D stash. I am so excited to try out these vendors that I've been so desperately trying or wanting to try out for a while now. And just thank you so much for a wonderful D stash. And yeah, so that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video. Again, I'm sorry. It's, it's late and I'm tired. So hopefully I didn't ramble too much. But I hope you are all doing well. And I hope you guys take care. And I will see you all in my next video. Peace.